Hello, my name is Greg. I want to show you how to use uh, OpenGL with Python. So, quick briefing what OpenGL is. Uh, as you see, I got a Kronos page opened, which is, uh, I think, main developer of it, maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, there is this uh, frequently asked questions page, which tells us OpenGL is the name of specification. That describes behavior of the rasterization based on the system. So, basically, it's not the engine as you may think this, because it renders three stuff, but it's not the engine. It's just a uh, API that talks with our uh, GPU graphics card. I mean, graphics cards. Uh, so this is a quick look. So we got hardware. And you got this uh, OpenGL API that just connects and tells what to do and how to draft this. Okay, so I think we can proceed further. And uh, I would show you quickly this page. This is a uh, documentation page of OpenGL 2.1. Uh, and it uses, uh, it can use. Uh, very common functions from it, like uh, translate, uh, rotate, uh, push matrix, pop matrix, everything that refers mostly to GL.2. So, uh, I will post this link in the description so you can visit uh, documentation by yourself. You will be confused by something. And so, I will use PyOpenGL 3. Point something, I think 3.1, uh, which is compatible with uh, OpenGL 1.1.2.44. So I will also cover PyGame because we will render these images in PyGame window. Because it's, it's very simple and very quick to do this. And the main thing you must know is um, it requires Python 3.3 plus version. But uh, let's, I will tell you what versions I got so you can follow along. Um, let me switch the windows for you. Okay. So, you can use uh, any editors you want. I will use uh, Emux and Vim for uh, editing scripts, but you can choose anything you want. So, uh, my Python version is 3.8.5. So, it will also be in this description, but uh, to this Python version, I got installed very many modules. So, like, uh, let's take a look at um, requirements. And for this tutorial, you will need probably NumPy. Um, so let's do this. NumPy uh, and PyOpenGL. Yes. Uh, yeah, PyOpenGL is 3 1 and NumPy is 1. Oh no, we need PyGame also. Yes, yes, Pygame 2.0. So, if you got the same uh, modules installed as I, that's awesome. Don't worry if not. everything should work as intended as my scripts. So, let's proceed to preparing this stuff. So, let's... Um, 
Let's make this tutorial. So, be a little patient for me. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay, we don't need this file. Okay, so, uh, good one. Let's go. So, I opened some cheat sheets so we can proceed a little smoother with imports. So, again, we need for sure NumPy. Everything works most NumPy way. Uh, we need Ma for sure. We can use time, maybe. Uh, I don't think we will use, okay, this is not, we can use maybe Python library tools, import product, this will let us create Cartesian objects a little quicker and simpler, okay, so, for OpenGL, we need import from OpenGL, GL big capitals and GL import, import everything from OpenGL big capital and GLU import also in star, which is, I mean, it's asterisk, but importing everything it's not nice but for this lesson i think it's okay from pi game we need locals yes everything and import pi game it's hell okay so this is imports we need uh, and we can proceed we can create now Mm, Pygame, Pygame window, so we need Pygame init for initialization, we need to specify dimensions, let's say display 700 and Pygame display Mode display. Uh, I hope this will work. This should be a tuple. Uh, oh, sorry, forgive me. I can't spell it correct. And now we will use double. Okay, so double buff and open gl flag this is uh, 3d display mode i think i will have to look at this closely mm. okay so we now call gl matrix mode which is uh oh, sorry low it's a uh, gl utility mode this is uh, what you can call it and we tell oh skip i mean go back go back uh, gl matrix mode gl uh, projection this will uh, change our matrix stack to projection matrix because everything in opengl works on matrices so you have to remember that if you call something that probably you're gonna edit currently selected matrix so uh, when you select gl projection we can set gl utility to set perspective and we will say this was a horizontal field of view and this was oh this has to be a tuple okay display so this is ratio to the uh, horizontal to the 
vertical ratio. Okay, and we got close clippings, 0 0.1, and clipping at the longest distance, let's say 500. Okay, so this is everything we need. We can say y through uh, we can start preparing some events for us so I will use pause for later let's add it now and for event in by game event add Event type is equal to I gain with we will use um, sorry I'm a little I'm cheating because I'm copying my script the other day I wrote and pause um, has to be before and it has to be before that is before our while loop that will run and display over and over again our matrices and stuff so if even the spy game quit we tell is tell our loop to stop so at the end if end it we tell break and after loop we call pi game I okay, but we probably could use some more fancy is to leave games. So if event type is pi game and let me check type it's called key down okay so if we press any key then this event will trigger this condition and we want to check if uh, our event uh, key is equal to key defined in my game so key and small q so if you press q this will uh, fall into this condition and again we call and it it's true and we add another condition even it is equal to i gain and this is um, check it's space yes and we call pause and we do this fancy x or operator with true this will uh, toggle our pause with between false and true and mm, yes and it will apply this to the render so if pause uh, pause has to be after and it so if pause we pi game sleep pi game uh, leap and we call 300 milliseconds okay so if we call our script now, let's run it. Hi, mm, game locals. Let's see that. From Pi game locals import. Okay. This is the change. I missed uh, import. Work. Okay, no more. 
from Ether Tools. Okay, so S was missing. And again, okay, so we can see our blank, black box of nothing. Okay, and if you follow me along, we can now press Q to quit. Okay. Okay, so if you have lost or missed something, don't worry, I will post this code to the GitHub so you can view. And I will make quick pause here so we can have something that is more organized and we will proceed in next video. Thanks for watching.